Good day guys, Bing here. Um, today I'm going to show you how to uh, model this shape, the one underneath this, this building. Okay, so let's start. So first I'm going to create a conceptual mass and uh, let's try first. The first one I'm going to try is uh, the sweep method. So uh, first, let's play, uh, place one point and copy it here and then create a spline, make it a reference line. Oh, uh, sorry, uh, we need to make it a, a, a curve. So I'm going to place a point, draw on face and place it in the middle and make this point driving. So now we can just uh, make it, it a, a spline and then I'm going to create another point draw on face place it on the reference uh, line and so I'm going to create some shape so I'll draw reference line and rectangle draw on word plan set word plan and pick this point okay and then roughly draw a shape like 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 this and then we can select so for example select these two reference line you can drag this and to change the shape okay so now this is one of the shape and the pro one of the profile and then select uh, the profile and the point cc and another one cc another one then select this point, pick new holes, pick uh, pick this, and another one, pick new holes, pick this reference line. So you can drag this point to the end, you can drag this to the middle, or you can just type in 0 0.5 in the middle, and this one will be a 0. Now you can select 1, 2, 3 to create a form. Or actually, uh, you can also let me just de delete this form. You can also use one, two, and this path to create a form. Depending on how um, whether you want to change the shape or not. So if 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 the shape is along this path, it's or uh, always the same you can even use only use one one and this part okay so now let me just delete this one and i'm going to select all these three and this part and create form and now i'm going to roughly so i'll hh this so and then i'm going to roughly adjust the a shape of this these profiles so you can change each individual uh, profile so and the the mass will change accordingly so for example this one i'll just make it bigger up this one that way and hr so you will see this is it and of course um, maybe we need to cut away uh, a little bit there so uh, let's go to or maybe we can uh, we should just move it down so we can uh, sit the this uh, shape on the ground level the reference level so go to south maybe we can select everything see if we can move it down so i'll just move it down to this Okay, good. And then uh, looks like this uh, because the profile's uh, size is different. Uh, maybe we do this. So move this down a little bit more. And then we can create a um, reference rectangular shape. And I'll just draw a shape here and select this rectangular and create a void and select the one on the left and escape so now let's have a look in 3d view uh, looks like it's big not 
deep enough. So select, uh, try to select that mass. So oh, the void. Sorry. Uh, no, not this one. Tab, tab, this one. And then we just need to type in a number here. So maybe a uh, three uh, thirty meter the other direction. So now that's deep enough to cut the whole thing. So yeah, that's that's it. That's, uh, that's the shape. But um, the shape the, the shape is good. But uh, if we if we look at this, so if we want to create this pattern, uh, there will be some issue because if you select this pattern, if uh, sorry, so select this face, and if you create divided surface, you will see. So this grid, these grids are following the shape, but this these grids are following the original shape. It's not following this. So if you look at here, these patterns, so it's almost uh, parallel to the ground level. Okay, so um, it won't work. The pattern won't work, but we can, um, however, we can manually uh, create those patterns. So if we go to South, uh, I'll just select this pattern and then remove them. Okay, but you can do this. You can use intersection. So what we need to do is we can just um, let me think. Maybe reference plan. I'll try, okay, so reference plan, and I'll see if I can do reference law as well, but I don't think so. Let's try intersects and see, ah, oh, try this, try this as well. Finish. Ah, oh, okay, so it looks like we can use both reference line or reference plan. So let's go to 3D view. So you will see these two. We did these two manually. So which means if we uh, actually we can turn on one, oh not this one sorry uh, V yeah. So we can use V grid for the the, the pattern this direction, but for this we can use a uh, U uh, uh, inter intersects. So uh, let me just have a look. See if we can select this. Oh, select this face, create divide surface. The same. I'm going to uncheck view and see if I can go to south elevation and use intersect. Pick these two, finish, and let's go to 3D view again. Yes, beautiful. So see the pattern. Uh, so this way, um, all these patterns will match just like this, and then you can. Uh, just need to manually draw this reference line or other reference line or reference plan. Okay, so yeah, I think that's good. Um, let's have a look, see if there's another method to do this. Okay, so I'll quickly, so I'll try a different method. So this time I'm going to draw a profile Rough almost of horizontal to this face, so to to the floor. So which means, if I go to south elevation, I'm mean, going instead of have this uh, follow this uh, perpendicular to the path, I'll try see if I can draw a a, a profile almost uh, or a parallel to the ground level. So I go to floor. I'll do it here. Reference. I'll use. I'll use a rectangle uh, for now, so because we can change the shape, change the shape anytime. So I'm going. To, this is the one on the left, and I'm going to draw another one on the right. And uh, okay, so I'm going to draw a reference plan in the middle, so we can set work plan to onto this reference plan. Okay, I'll just do it in 3D view. And in this 3D view, which is here, I'm going to draw another um, uh, reference. Sorry, reference line, uh, another rectangular shape. So roughly. So now we have one, two, three. But I believe I don't think we can create a form from these three because Revit don't understand. 
because these two are parallel to each other. If we create a form from these two, that's okay. But once we add this profile into it, we can't. Um, I'm not sure how to do it. If you know how to create a form from these three, please let me know. So what I think, um, so actually what I uh, find out, so I can just fudge it, <laughs> just just um, cheat a little bit. So instead of, so for example, this one's totally flat, I'll just rotate it by maybe one degree. So, okay, so let's do it. So I'm going to go to South Elevation. So maybe I'll de just de delete this for now. I'll create a reference, uh, maybe a reference plan, which is, um, or actually, let's do reference line because we can rotate reference line. We can't rotate reference plan. So let me try if I can rotate reference plan. Oh, actually we can, sorry. Uh, okay, that's that's good. So I'll just use a reference plan. I'll select a place one. Maybe I'll just match that level here. And then I'll just delete this profile. I'll create another reference plan here. And then I'll rotate this by one degree, rotate this by one degree, and I'll name this, maybe I'll name this uh, reference, reference plan one, reference plan two. So let's, let's go to 3D view. Oh, actually, because uh, that's good, because this is a, a conceptual mess, we can see all the reference plan in 3D view. So we can actually, we can create a profile in 3D view and we can set work plan onto this reference plan and then we can just draw something like this. Same, let's do another one, set work plan, draw another box. So now let's try because uh, create form still doesn't work. Hmm. This is this is not good. Let me try to a uh, two degree two degree uh where's the angle ah uh, maybe 178 and then let's try it again hopefully create form yes so um looks like um yeah looks like we can't use uh of course flat we can't have uh you know the we can't have these two profiles uh, totally flat. We can't even have one rotate one degree. We, we need to rotate two degree. So, and that's it. And then um, I'll just H H this mess. So of course you can change the shape, change these profiles. So for example, like this, and maybe this one go bigger. Maybe this one. So go that way. Oops. Uh, what's that? Uh, oh, should be fine. It's uh, it's telling me not not straight, but yeah, doesn't matter. Doesn't doesn't matter. So this one maybe go that way. Maybe this one go this way. Okay. So now if what I H R and then that's roughly the same shape. And this one uh, because we don't we didn't use a uh, void, we can tab select this, create a device surface, and then you. If I type, so for example, three, this one maybe it's 30, something like that, maybe 20. So you will see all these grids is uh, uh, following the shape of this. So similar to this. Okay. So, uh, maybe we, we need to use uh, maybe 30. Let's try 30. Yeah. But uh, the only thing. Um, I, try, I, I, I because I try, tried it before. Uh, if I use a device surface on this one, and even um, type this one become three, even though I type in thirty as well, it won't match exactly. So it's almost match. See, almost match, but won't match uh, exactly. So perfectly. So that's something not very uh not perfect but i think uh yeah so it's roughly 
okay i think yeah at least we get this shape so still uh, two degree not perfect but uh, yeah you shouldn't uh, tell the difference so anyway um that's it um just a little bit ex uh, experiment exercise about messing okay so thank you for watching i'll see you next time bye